Welcome to the park. This is a psychological horror game. Not really getting a lot of recognition, um, but suppose it's pretty scary and it's a short playthrough, so I'm just gonna play through the whole thing right now. Uh, yeah, let's go, new game. Park is near, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. Deals with subject matter may be certain some players during the course of the play the park may be the graphics, audio control settings, and your standing. Perfectly normal. Should not be cause for any alarm or psychiatry. Well, I hope it doesn't F up Shadow Play, which is recording this. So, the park. A uh, spooky game, I guess. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. I just heard that it's a scary game. So, I want to play it. Funcom presents. Funcom's a terrible name. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. Spooky. Go and ask information. Atlantic Island Park. Uh, I don't think anyone's here. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Yeah. Employees yeah. prepare the park for shutdown. Let's just get out of here. What? Wait, what? Okay. No, I don't want to go in. Yeah. Oh, there's someone. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What? Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. What? I'll unlock the gates for you. I thought I locked that bastard in the car. So, I have to click to move. Move the cursor, is that all right? Callum, where are you going? Come on, mommy! Atlantic Island Park. Nathaniel Winter welcomes you. Oh man, this guy's got like he's he's got some sort of like inbreeding, you know? It's like a inbred wealthy person. That's that's what this guy's got going on. Bye Nathaniel Winter. There's no way you could cause any problems. Are you kidding me? There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. No, there's not. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. See, she sounds smart. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. But I, I think she's crazy. I'm pretty sure this lady's Attention crazy. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Yeah, this is like worse than like, Knott's Berry Farm or Six Flags. This is not Disneyland, that's for sure. What's going on? Slowest escalator ever. It took hours to get up here. Oh God, the park. Oh, there's running. What happened here? You can't catch me. I will catch you, asshole. Hey. Get back here, kid. What kid's gonna be able to like sit through hours of escalator without, you know, being pissed off? Bats. It's a joker. Okay, she says she's over here. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Is that, 
Is that my person? Is my person Satan's whore? Come on. Let's run. Ooh, mountains. Let's go. Here I come. This is like, examine shoe. I think this belongs to Calum. Calum. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Chad the chipmunk. Just a drunk guy in a suit. In a nice town. Daily ice sculpting shows? Such your alley, the Octatron. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Man, let's let's not Hey, how can I Callum, stay where you are! Okay, I'm Come like on, this stuck. Way. No, I don't want to. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Read handwritten What's notes. This? Purchase land with all mine for pins and mine. Blah, 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 blah. This is any people slamming doors. Archie Henderson. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the riddles are said to have come, blah, 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 blah. Mr. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter. That's the inbred guy at the very beginning. But the soil here is bitter with the curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I did miss him shortly after, mostly amused by his appetite tense. That warning me off. He's warning you off! Why didn't you do anything? God. Rich people can be very dumb sometimes. He's he's saying like don't come here. I don't I don't know what the what the problem was. He said don't move in here. Oh, there's voices. This is the start of something amazing. It's the guy. Ooh. Take a leak. No? Okay. Let's go. This is it said it's on an island. But then what island has mountains that big? Well, I mean whatever. This is a make believe place. Atlantic Island Park, Ferris wheel. Where's the you are here? There should be like a you are here. Oh, you are here. The Tunnel of Tales. Callum, stay where you are. I'm coming for you, baby boy. Oh, should Come I get on, in? Mommy. Wait, I don't even see him. Callum, are you a duck person now? No, okay, oh, it's a swan. Can I get in? Ride the swan. Let's ride the swan. What's with the voices? Okay. Here we go. Tunnel of love. Well, Unreal Engine 4 looks great. That's for sure. Just thought I'd put that out there. like a bowling pin. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Mm. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What? Bite or sup? Are they going to kill someone? What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. It's like the I worst tell you ride what, ever. Husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. She doesn't like this. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while 
then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough sure. scolding from their I parents no getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any uh, supper. To go? Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. See. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest. This is like a again. dumb ride. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead mm. them safely home. Trail but hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his Ooh. trail was destroyed. Those, those darn birds. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. And then they ate each other. No. I think, I think the game's. Oh, okay. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made it's of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. These old, like, tales, you know, were always terrible. Like, the parents were trying to abandon the kids? That's messed up. At my house, an old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to She's you. a pedophile. But She's a pedophile. Gretel stayed back. For the Stranger old danger. Reminded them of their cruel mother. Ooh. Come, children, don't be afraid. I Cruel have everyone. something for you. The old woman offered them two the old woman's evil. Lollipops. The parents the are assholes. And, began to eat. and the kids are going to end see, up being pretty bad, nothing too. Nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged. And the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Mmm, sweet. Oh. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Reminds me of Bioshock. Your brother will make a good mouth. Ran on. The old witch ran on Unreal Gretel. Engine three. Once this is Unreal Engine up, four. Does kind of have the same look. Feast upon him. Yum, 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 yum. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Ooh. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. There and it she is. Moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. See? Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. There you go. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat Everyone. by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Son of a witch. Um. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch there you and go. ate her. See, the moral of the story of Hansel and Gretel is that everyone is a fucking monster. Everyone's terrible in that story. Even the kids. Hansel and Gretel are terrible. They just eat the lady. I mean, they're trying their best. Ah! 
Well, hello, duck. I mean, swan. That was creepy. That's all it needed. Just a little look at me. Yes. The swans got out. That's from Hot Fuzz, if you want to see that. Oh. Why can't I uh, call for the kid anymore? Okay, let's get out. Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. Well, it sounded like the kid would have been in there. Let's go. Let's go have a fun day. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. She thought of her and her son as brother and sister. I don't I don't know how weird that is. Uh it I mean it seems very weird. I mean I guess it could be worse. I don't know. We already know that this lady is is crazy or something cuz another what? accident. This park place. maintenance. Oh, oh, open the door. Oh, it's going to be inside. Is that Wait. To cut the ribbons to the room. Atlantic, whatever, is opening on time. I'm not really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. Blah, 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 blah. Anderson Cell shows he's negative. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I'll know if this has been for nothing. But, yeah, you see, that's the problem. You let a stuffed animal drive. Stuffed animals should not drive cars. They're, they're not car things. Oh, there's blood everywhere. I did not notice that. So you don't notice it when you're over here. Then you, oh, there's blood everywhere. See, so just just don't let Callum, stuffed animals... Where are you? Don't let stuffed animals drive. <laughs> Where's Callum? Jason! Not Jason. Callum! Press Y to Jason. Oh, shit. That's not good. I don't trust that. There's like voices coming out mommy of Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way, Mommy. This way. Oh, it's an octopus. Time to get some puss. Some octopus. Get your heads out of the gutter. Octopus. Octopus. This looks fine. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Blood run to your head? Uh, I guess so. The guy Damn just report. snapped. Those poor kids. So yeah, guy in the chipmunk suit gave someone a creeps. Uh, with the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion, but it was more like ice fell away. When you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. The more you looked at it, the more you saw it, there was something not quite right about the proportion, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. <gasps> but then the teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. There you go. This is chaos, blah, blah, blah. He was stab, stab, stabbing him with the ice pick. And blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. Last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. There you go. Don't trust people in suits. Just don't do it, especially if they're chipmunks. I had a friend whose girlfriend got 
her ass grabbed by one of the people in the Chippendale suits when they were at Disneyland. And then the Chippendale people pretend like it didn't happen. Don't trust people in soups, especially chipmunk suits. Okay, let's ride this ride. Can we ride it? I want to ride it. Come on, there's a booth. Let me ride the ride. I want to ride the ride. Oh, ride Keep Octatron. Down while it's moving. Let's turn it off. Yeah, it's slow enough. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, I gotta slow it down even more. Wait, but how if if I slowed it down, how's it gonna speed up? I can't get on while it's moving. It's still moving. God, I know you can't get on while it's moving. But how are you gonna? Ride it when it's. Let's ride Octatron. See? How did it start moving? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna throw up. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm gonna hold it down. Oh no. It's going faster. No. 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 Oh, too fast, too fast. Let me throw up. Let me throw up. Ah, that's a monster. That's a monster. Oh, it's the inbred in Mr. Winter. Is it? I'm gonna throw up. These rides always make me throw up. Polaroid? Okay. That was spooky. I've given that five up spooks. Wait, which, where did I come in from? Where did I, where did my, oh, did I come over from over there? Yeah. Ooh, examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Jeez, this chick's got some problems. <gasps> She's got an axe necklace like hand the the uh dad in Hansel and Gretel. Mystery solved. There we go. Um Yeah. Let's go to the next thing. I bet it's here. Treachery we'll hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. What the fuck is she talking about? Oh, uh, chick has problems. Ooh, let's go into a spooky building. With sparks coming out. Let's do it. Read note. Read page. I thought working in the park for someone would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't many tourists around, so much sass in their days to it. Around gossiping, most of that gossip about Chad. Chad? Chad? No. I mean Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's the goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve the local lush as Chad the chipmunk. Oh, it's the guy who played the chipmunk. Chad the chipmunk. Chad? The chipmunk? Child-friendly mascot, blah, blah, blah. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and take it home with him every day. Problems. Sh fucking dude has problems. But then I saw it at Susie's Diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained to park manager about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter. 
the owner, one day, but nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like carcass whenever Steve walks by. Apparently, Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him. Puking up in a gutter outside the soil cycle station. He can carve a mean ice sculpture. Blah, 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 blah. He makes shapes on the ice that give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today and just hung out for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me. Sizing me up. I fucking me. Whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he stood there, not saying anything. Eventually I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. That is a smart person, Laura Henneman. That is that is smart. Just get out. Get out. Just forget about chipmunks. Chipmunks aren't worth it. Anyways. Holy fucking shit. God damn it. That scared me. Okay, maybe Laura didn't get out. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Hello? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That that did scare me. I'll be honest. That that is not that's is that a dinosaur? A duck? A duck dinosaur? Duck dynasty? No, duck dinosaur? Dragon? Okay. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's the fucking let's go. See voices. Chick's got problems. Ah. <sighs> Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. It floats my boat. Let's get in. Let's do this. Oh, I don't have to walk through the line. How do I get in? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I want to go. Oh, there we go. Examine device. Look at that. Look at that depth of field. Yo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's me. There I am. There I go. Woo! The device. Electroshock therapy. It used to be a thing that would happen to people with mental problems. I think it might still happen in very like low doses, but not like the way that it used to. Um, yeah, that was creepy. Is that all? Is that all that happens here? I want to fucking play bumper cars. Let me bump some cars. Okay, fine, fine. Just I, I guess it's out of order. I'm just gonna leave. Fine. You know, I'm really not getting my money's worth for this, uh, this, uh, theme park, amusement park. I mean, read page. There's another shit gonna. Ah, just wait, them. Sent an inspector to investigate the accidents at the park. I've given him the grand tour and spun about all our safety upgrades, but he seems unconvinced. In this case, the park itself is working against me. This dour man has become more and more interactable, intractable the amount of time he spends on Tark. I've offered to pay for his stay in the Overlook Hotel. How many places have an Overlook Hotel? Isn't that what The Shining, isn't that the hotel, the Overlook Hotel? I heard that other places too. Uh, it seems I have him even more paramount. I don't think this man is going to allow my park to stay open. This is a disaster for my ultimate goals. Oh. Well, this is kind of a shitty park. Like, you know, I feel like there should be a little bit more of everything. Oh, I can't go down. Is that a dead end? Do I have to backtrack? Ugh. Oh, well. Let's just backtrack. Let's go back. Uh, let's see if there's a map. Come out, sweetie. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh my god. These th I thought okay, let's read it. Another thing's what gonna is this about? Blah, blah blah He wanted to build an amusing park off of Solomon Island, off the coast of New England. There are swingers up Wall Street. I'm 
trying to read this all. They're just saying that there was a bad idea to make a park on Solemn Island. Sleepy Main Street, a preppy academy for dropouts from Boston, a lighthouse that's already in the process of being automated, and a belligerent tribe of natives. What? Natives? Okay. Sure, no, that's uh. Okay. He's digging far deeper than is needed for an amusement park, including several underground chambers, which are too small to house machinery, if you ask me. The old man is looking for something buried beneath the island itself. There we go. Getting along with the story. Something's happening. Could this be the real reason that the eccentric businessman has relocated to the remote northern island in this corporate misdirection of the highest order of a crafty entrepreneur the disputes over the blue mine with the native population ongoing there's definitely something buried beneath Solomon Island I was saying winter is going to su surprise us all okay I'm going to click out of this I think something's going to happen no nope. nothing happening nothing's happening oh nothing happened just the shapes and everything are good at being creepy So there's, there's something underneath this island that this amusement park's on. That's what we've found out so far. So, uh, I don't think we're, I'm gonna go find it. But, uh... But maybe it will find us. Ah. Okay, let's go look at the map. It's like any amusement park, you just get lost. Okay, let's, uh... See, I can't get down to the roller coaster. So am I just gonna have to, oh, let's go to the Ferris wheel. Doo doo doo, gonna walk to the Ferris wheel. See, you know. See, certain ones have stuff coming out of them. What is this? This thing is just weird. Stop, tell him! Catch me, mommy. Ugh, creepy. Catch me, mommy. Very, very creepy. This is where that girl that I said was smart, Laura, for leaving the park. I think that was her that popped up. Okay, let's go back. It's pretty. It's a pretty game. It's got it. Let's go to the Ferris wheel. I'm gonna make out on the Ferris wheel. Ah, oh. God, this place is fucked up. Okay, so I have to go like all the way back. Okay. First, for the fact that the plan seemed incomplete. I know this game will change. There's enough money. Missing plans. I've tried con organization. You sold me these plans. They're stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every main place I would watch was here. Sinking feeling that I've been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans. Regardless, harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. What? Harvesting machines and transport mechanisms. Private Liculus named them something cute for the day we open the park. They will be rides after all. What? Harvesting machines? Are they like repurposing farm equipment? Or is there something else going on? God, to backtrack all the way? No, I rarely read that report. Don't hide from me, Callum. Run, 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 run. Run with your giant hands. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Giant hands. I mean... I mean, I gotta say, a real Engine 4 looks great. It seems like we're only seeing Unreal Engine in like small games so far, like that had quick turnarounds, like this one. So I don't think there's any big games with Unreal Engine for yet. I don't know. Anyways, enough about engine talk. That's who cares. Doesn't matter what engine the game's on. I'm just saying it looks pretty. And for a game where you spend half your time running. 
through dirt paths with nothing to do, at least it's pretty. And creepy, but pretty. And creepy. God. Okay. So I'm going back. So why is there just the women's bathroom? Where's the men's bathroom? I need to pee. Oh well, I guess I'm not gonna go pee. Still have to hold it. Oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! There was the chipmunk. This is where the chipmunk was. He was here. He is not here anymore. That is, okay. That's not good. That is fucking creepy. I, I feel like we'll be seeing him later. Chad the Chipmunk. As played by Steve. Chad the Murdering Chipmunk. See, now, this is the creepiest. I know it's like a house of horrors, but just... <sighs> Gotta be like, okay. So, I'm at the house of horrors. Sideshow Alley or the House of Horrors. Should I do it? Oh, this one's gonna be fucking creepy. Oh, wait. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. I like your thinking, lady. Not going in there without a flashlight. You very smart. Smarter than me, because I I was just like, let's just go in there. It's like a sun person. It, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Look at, I'm standing on the ride. I'm playing, I'm, I'm riding the ride. Wait for mommy. Okay, I guess we're going to Sideshow Alley. But it doesn't look open. Okay, I'm like missing something. I must have done something wrong or missed something because... Let's, can we find a flashlight or something? You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna leave. Bye kid. I'm just not gonna leave. <gasps> I can't leave. The truth. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Okay. Well, what the hell? It's easy Where do to get I go? Lost here. Yeah, it's not that easy to get lost here when you can't go anywhere. So the thing to the Ferris wheel was blocked off. I should be able to find a flashlight. Come on. Come back. Callum, tell mommy where you are. I'm, I'm just wandering around at this point, so not a whole lot of direction. I'm so used to like games where the quests pop up. Wait, was this always here? No, I think it was. Find a fucking flashlight. Come out, sweetie. <laughs> Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Where are you? Where are you? Callum? See, now I'm walking back along the park. <sighs> Come to mommy, Callum. Uh, did I miss something? I bet I missed something. Let's just let's just see. <sighs> Ooh, 
Ooh, is that a cave? What's in there? Oh no, it's not a cave. Okay. Callum! Where did you go? Yes, that, okay. Just what what am I missing? I have to be missing something. Oh, this way. It says this way. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Over where? Come back, Callum. This way, Mommy. Oh, it says this way. Okay. That's helpful. Where are you? <laughs> oh, wait. What's this? Interesting. I, I don't think there's anything here, though. Where did you go? Come on, where did you go, kid? Just let me find you. Let's just do this. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Callum? Follow the trail. Follow the trail. I got the Polaroid. What happens if I uh, speed up the... Okay, sorry. This is getting like, you know. I think it needs a little bit more. Let's just let's just increase this to the max. Let's see what happens. Let's destroy it. Callum, where'd you go? Hello? It's got to be this way. It's got to be this way. See, I keep Callum, hearing the kid. Callum, come back here right now. I'm, I'm trying to catch you. Anything over there? No. Stop, Callum! This way. This way? Okay. Good. I feel like we're back on track. I, I mean, I guess it was my fault for going back, but it's like, it didn't think I, I didn't think I'd go to the next thing. Oh, there's like a ride booth over there. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I missed it. <laughs> Is there anything in here? No. Come to mommy, Callum. Follow the trail. What trail? I'm gonna look through all these uh, bumper cars. See if there's anything in any of them. Someone left a note or something. Or a flashlight. Someone left a flashlight in the bumper car. I feel like I need a flashlight. Do 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 do. What a fun ride! No. I can't ride Where it. Did you go? Oh, there Come we go. Out, Found something. Salmon accident report. Oh, an accident. 
During the transport of the bumper cars into the air arena, one of the straps attached to the Redstone truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. If yes, would they file a doctor portion of the workers' compensation for it? Yes. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the strap. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Been doing drugs, hmm? What could have been done to prevent the accident slash incident? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screens for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Photocopy. Local laborers are very superstitious and that hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until they have someone from the local church walk the part and exercise the bad spirits. Okay, something's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Something's happening. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo! Zombie carts! Zombie carts. The new hit movie from Pixar, Zombie Carts. Yeah, because everyone's gonna do a zombie movie at some point. Man! Thank you, Zombie Cart, for showing me where I had to go. Ooh, look at my shadow! Ooh, it's a crazy lady! Um, yeah, let's find out what's back here, behind the scenes. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. There you go. See? She must be like schizophrenic. That's gotta be it, right? So was, you know, electroshock therapy. The problem is that their locals, I believe a lot of the rumors about the old man Henderson needs to be done. He do here, they grew up on those tails. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, the why it shows the side overall the potential soul mine is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn. I got someone at the local academy to see if they had interest in books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn craft. Perhaps something you wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. Okay, another spooky thing. Spooky thing? No? Spooky? Is a light on in there? Or is that... Oh, no, it's just a reflection. Dark energy, see? That crazy inbred rich guy wanted it for the dark energy. So, I think it's time. Let's ride the Ferris wheel. It's still running. That's that's creepy in itself. Oh wait, I can run. I'm running. Let's run. Uh ah see what the God. It's the way they route you around these things makes it Oh wait. There we go. Found a way on. Just slow this down. Let's decrease the speed so I can ride it. Because, you know. Once you decrease the speed all the way. You know. Because. Oh man. There's that fucking chipmunk again. God. Wait, I thought chip. Did chipmunks have tails? I thought only squirrels have tails. Something scary's gonna happen. Like it's gonna start by itself. That's scary. Someone's gonna be sitting across from me. I bet that's gonna happen. See, I try to warn myself. I know it's still gonna scare the shit out of me, but 
Yeah. No. No. There I am. Or is, or it's gonna break. God, I don't even in real life. I'm not a fan of Ferris wheels. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Three months? That's all it took? Or you got, you know, one night, get pregnant, live, move in, live together for three months, and then die. That is... That, I mean, sad. It's totally sad, but... Yeah. Hasn't, haven't these people heard of contraceptives? Oh, fuck. There's a scary man. There's a... That's who's working the Ferris wheel. That's who's working the... The octo... Octopus thing. It's the scary man. That inbred hick with noodles for arms. Not a hick. He's not an inbred hick. He's an inbred upper class person, you know? Like royalty, how they would like, you know, kings and queens of ancient times. They would like, you know, impregnate each other's sisters and stuff. Anyways. Ah, oh, it's blocked off. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, take roller coaster, take it. What the fuck? What the Callum, fuck? where are you? Oh, did it break it open? Okay. Ooh, man. See? This place is fucking haunted. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I, of course I expected to be haunted. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. See, this, this lady is fucked up. And selfish. I mean... I'm not a woman or mom or parent or anything, so I mean, I guess I can't really relate, but it serves Mommy's to reason. Coming, serves to reason like that. One. Never got around to do it before. Ooh. New experiences. I want to ride the roller coaster. It's like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Okay, ride the roller coaster. Ups and down. Ooh. Roller coaster tycoon. Things are gonna jump out at me. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? Is it the devil? What have you done to him? Who is this? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. 
Where is Callum? Oh my god. The poor child. He tried hook, so hook hard hands to person. do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Ooh. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. What? Hospital, psych ward, yeah. Hey, but maybe that creepy guy that just has his arms around me is like trying to help. Oh. <laughs> GTA fucking ran over that kid. Bumping the mic. Um, it's like GTA when you just run over people. That's what happened to that kid. Ran him down. But hey, maybe that guy is actually says the witch has him. Good page. Works the calculations, adjustments work. The transport and storage magnesium seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day! If only these people knew that they were fueling, and if so. What if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. There we go. Trying to take door dark magic and become immortal. Because he's going to die soon because he's a creepy inbred rich, you know, upper middle class person. Royalty. Aristocrat? <gasps> Finally! The witch awaits. Finally, a fucking flashlight. I can help you, Callum. Finally, I have a flashlight. Okay, and how do I get out of here? Oh, here. Yay! I have a flashlight. Time to Callum go. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okay. That's that's good. Oh, shit. Gates closed behind me. Okay, she's coming around. So the Calum kid was fucked up. Was taken the over whole by town them. was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Ooh. There's a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to local authorities, the corpse is yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. <gasps> the, corp the corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. Noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight beyond the shack. Nathaniel went to the owner of Atlantic Island Park to release the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff at Lane Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. Something's gonna happen. Oh man, nothing happened. Oh shit. Come back! All the breadcrumbs. But the birds ate the breadcrumbs in the story. Hasn't we established that? chair. Okay, I mean a cart. 
Oh shit, there's a cotton candy. Oh, there's a hole. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit first and then, then we'll uh, go check out the cotton candy hole. Okay, go into the cotton candy hole. Cotton candy, oh fuck, what is that? Oh, it's not a hole, what is that? It's something, it's just blood. Oh shit, there's a body. We did this to him. It's just a homeless person. Oh shit, something's gonna happen. Uh, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. I'm so fucking scared. Okay, let's turn around. Oh man, there's a fucking clown. Oh my god. It's the evil chipmunk. Oh fuck. Let's, can we just get the fuck out of here? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, run. Run. Run, bitch. Why won't you run? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not playing no more either. Well, I'm, I'll play the game. <sighs> what the fuck? See? No. Why can't I go? Where am I supposed to go? Whack a jack. Who's Jack? Why do you want to whack him? Oh, something appeared. What is it? Take pills. Yes, let's take some pills. Uh, these are mine. MG, Lorraine, blah, blah, blah. What did it say? I can't really read it. Oh, fuck. Shouldn't have taken those pills, yo. The 1980s. Yay. Are better off than you were four years ago? Reagan, 80. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. Man. Is a fat big, but his daughter is hot. Fuck gravity. No safe. Your mother? Okay. I guess I'm going this way. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Floating. Okay, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Let's go bowling. Teddy bear bowling. Slow motion. Don't touch me. There that goes. Ugh. Don't leave me here, Cal. Ugh. Yeah, don't li don't leave me here, anyone. This is creepy as fuck. That's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to like hit things around and have them fly though. Oh, the gate opened up, but now I'm tripping balls. Tripping balls. Tripping balls. Fucking, just Callum, fuck you. I'm sorry. Stupid chipmunk. Let's go. Oh. Oh, cutting herself. Oh fuck, it's a chipmunk. Ooh. Whoa, that was that was uh too spooky for me. Or is it three spooky five me? What a strange trip it's been. Yeah, this was a trip, because he's straight up tripping on drugs. There you go. The park is a That's collage you, of drugs. contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting oh, for me. This is the Inside. Witch. 
This is the witch. And now it's going to get super spooky. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, my God. A loading screen. Shit's about to get real. Oh, maybe we're going underground. The caverns. Oh, fuck yeah. It's, it's you know, it's one of these. Oh, it's going to get super spooky now. I'm so, so I'm going to be super spooked. Oh, God. Read page. I don't trust anything here. Lanark Island Park has closed its gates. A, g a jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron pollock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to bosses. I have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Oh, it's going to be the creepy guy. There he is. Look how just messed up. Hi, I'm. I'm the man. Of, I am Nathaniel Winter. I'm not British. I'm just upper class. I'm still American. But have that assholish British sounding accent. I'm better than you. I also am trapped in a house of horrors and have turned into a spooky, stretchy man. Oh. That's actually pretty creepy. Get out of here. Oh man, house of horrors. Hi. I am me. Dude, this this chick's totally got Please. problems. Make me see. She doesn't like looking at herself. Oh man. I'm gonna look in mirrors. Look at those dead eyes. What's going on? I don't think she likes it when you make her look at herself. There's something spooky in there. Let's go around this corner. Mirrors. Oh, fuck. That was good. That was good. That was that was very spooky. Scary. Man, just like the designs are like good. It's good art. Give me drugs. No. No. No drugs. Oh fuck. Oh man, is that the guy? Is he down there? Oh, he's down there, isn't he? Or is he? Where's that shadow coming from? It's got to be like directly underneath. Or he's not there at all. That's creepy. Oh, I'm going down there, aren't I? No, I'm not, am I? Oh, fuck. This is, oh my God. Ah! Scary. Come on, there's gotta be some, oh no. No, 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 Don't you fail on me, flashlight. And now it's facing me. That, okay. That was no bueno. Oh. There's something up above. I'm, I got, okay, I got, this is, I don't not, I don't want to go here. This just looks too spooky, but I feel like I have to. Wait, unless this is the entrance, no? What's that? Let's just get out of here. Let's just forget this. Forget that area. I don't trust it. Creepy chair. Power... You know, that is unsafe working conditions. You're not supposed to be running power like that. Oh you know. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, fucking A. God, that scared me more than anything. And I saw it. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck this. God, fuck this shit. Oh, my God. 
What's what's over here? Just empty room. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a horror game without a couple jump scares, right? Ah. Uh, uh, come on. Ew. Fuck you and your creepy groin. Yeah, you got me. Oh, fuck. Doors opening. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a clown. Come back here. Come back here, creepy man. Come on. Oh, fuck. I, I, oh my God, I got what I asked for. I'm going down, down into the caverns. That will not open. Oh shit, it's out. Don't leave me. Nightmare Circus. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk, search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Every time you look at something, you know something's After working. they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light. Oh my god, is this her house? It is. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Just listening. Just lost listening. and afraid. Things never got any better. Better? Definitely from New England. Hunger, the true story of the Donners. The Donner Party, who in 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 miles journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded this year in Nevada Mountains with very little to bite or sup. Uh, it was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world had ever seen. Now our panel of Donner exports have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. It's never before seen expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the page of this shocking true story. Yeah, the Donner party. That's a real thing that happened. Oh, here's your teddy bear, kid. I found it. Now shut up. Okay. Power disconnect mode, potent notice. Okay, power ran out. But then why are the lights on if the power's out? Oh, it's a hat. Is there like blood or something in that? Nope, just a hat. Rubik's cube. <laughs> Solve the treasure cube. <laughs> and it's not solved. I'm terrible at Rubik's cubes. I just don't, I don't understand them. Uh, let's do another bug. The wilting. With this novel, Susan's comments on her place, cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers. A solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chan Sohara is the key to saving the world again. Okay. Doesn't look that great. Let's see. Oh, fucking baby dolls, man. I hate that. Is creepy. Read shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callan electricity bill, fix faucet. Fuck yeah, fish sticks. Open. Okay. Chicken and wine. It's a wrench. Yeah, it's a wrench. At her husband's ranch or something. Should I, I'm gonna close this. Can I close this? There you go. Don't wanna save. Don't wanna waste electricity. You know, gotta save electricity. 
Keep it uh, nice and closed. Keep it all nice and chilled in there, you know. We have some wine after this. First, I'm gonna go venture through a scary building. Closed, okay. It's quite the fucking apartment. Jeez, it's like a penthouse. Or it's a house, I guess. Miss Mayer, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter's and official notification are considered sound of mind and body and return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you're suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. Wish for continued good health. Dr. Spencer, Dunwich Medical. Dunwich Emergency Service. Yeah. She had problems. She's got massive problems. Lorraine, I received your letter. I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father all those years ago and then disappeared off the edge of the map. And when I finally tracked you down and refused to answer any of my letters. Now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now, another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart that I needed you to go on living. Can't let you back in my life without picking up on old wounds and starling, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but you not, but not yet. I'm ready for you, but please don't contact me again. Ooh, I guess her like mother or something. She doesn't, you know, her dad died. I don't know. See, just stuff to mess up. Read note. Don't watch your murder she services. Lorraine Kimberly Mallard. Lorraine seemed to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussion made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. Being kept air under careful observation, we provide standard treatment for the disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. There it is. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Boom. Lithium-based mood stabilizers. Precision for Zolift, not Zoloft. Zolift. Blah blah blah. Fifty million dose. Has her own housing and her employer Susie has said she's welcome to turn her shifts at the diner. No more creepy. Blah blah blah. See problems. Shit. Oh, I mean that'll fuck you up. Berkshire Mendelssohn are inquiring to the estate of Dr. Don Lill has been completed. We regret to confirm that the primary beneficiaries of the estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams to explain your situation with regard to the birth of Donald's son, Calum. Fortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they considered you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. Aw. Man, so she... Her husband dies and they got she got stuck with this kid. This is a spooky house. It's like her house. That that is not a fun house. Of course they're not gonna open. The last the one at the end's gonna open. Ew. Are we back? Oh, this is like PT. Take two tablets by mouth every morning, then one tablet whenever you have an episode. Zolift. More circus books. Why you be reading? Why you be reading such scary books? Lorraine, things aren't ready to change the moment. I know I want to try and explain. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard every day. Working at the park gets worse. Like a spring inside me. I'm tired, tired. We go for. When we go for drinks everywhere, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're good people. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city. I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Calum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Wow. He named her. It's the Donner Party book again. Ooh, shit. Sister, blah, blah, blah. I. God, I could try to, like, decode this, but I am not going to. Leave me alone! That book again. What is this? More Zolift. Yep. Zolift. Not Zoloft, Zolift. Oh, fuck yeah. Get the fuck out of here, kid. You're in big trouble. Get out of here! Oh, shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish, cheese, Zolift prescription. Remember, take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organized babysitter for Callum. Boom. More pills. 
Oh, the meat has gotten rotten. Time has passed. There's no wrench. Did the did Callum tank the wrench and wrench the door shut? That's why I can't get in here. Get out of here! Okay. Fine. This is like PT, where you go through the same house like over and over. I didn't run away. Dad took me. So, so she was kidnapped by her father. So this stuff's getting worse and worse. I bet. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. What the fuck? Am I going to go and it's going down and it's the same hallway again time is passing time is passing oh shit's getting worse nightmare circus no more drugs where's my drugs read letter oh it's like burned oh that dead baby doll I just I hate baby doll things Oh, and hit in the head. Oh, now there's blood on the kid's hat. That is not good. Child abuse. See therapy? See her try. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, it's green. See her try is white. Her, and then what's yellow, orange is gonna be see her lie. I don't, yellow's like, I don't know about yellow. Yellow's kind of crazy. Well, let's go find out. Uh, I love you from Callum. Oh, he's, he's a good kid. Mom's just fucked up. Is it empty? Milk Zoloft, cheese Zoloft, bread Zoloft, butter Zoloft, corn Zoloft, potato Zoloft, apple Zoloft, fish sticks, remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. She's going to abandon him at the park. That's actually what she's doing, and she's... That's what she did, and she's having grief about it. There we go. They're fire burning, and it's just wine now. Keep that wine nice and chilled. Oh, shit. That is that is not good. That is not good. Oh, I bet she was the one hitting the kid. Woo. Let's go. Run away, Dad took me. It's ripped. Drug, drug, drugs. Okay. Give it to me. Oh no, it's the spooky man with the hook hand. It looks a lot like uh, um, ah, that movie, The Babadook. If anyone's seen The Babadook, he's a lot like that. Oh shit, there we go. There's baby dolls, I just said I hated baby dolls. God, and of course there's a fuck ton of baby dolls everywhere. Oh, uh, crazy. It's crazy. She's crazy. She's having episodes. Hunger. Okay. Don't make me look at it. Oh, God. Babies. Bloody. Now it's like really close. What the fuck? See her try. See her lie. See her why? A K? What? Sack? Ask her why. See her lie. See her try. See her cry. That is. That's problems. Oh my god. What the fuck? That is creepy. Baby head. Put it on? Put it on? No? Okay. Just, no, God, just baby heads, baby dolls. Not, I do not like baby dolls. Oh, I guess that must be them. 
More pills. It doesn't rattle when I shake it, so it must be empty. Um, oh, fucking A. That is no bueno. No bueno at all. Boiled the baby pills. You are not alone. You are alone. Nobody loves you. Calm is no longer one. Longer who he once was. Okay. Maybe the kid's been taking the drugs. Oh shit, it's an ice pick. It's the murdering, ice carving bunny. Oh fuck. It's gonna be right here. Oh fuck me. Fuck me. I love you. Oh no. The time has come to face the evil. Oh fuck. Oh, okay, I'm so scared. Oh, this is. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh fuck. What's gonna happen? The door's gonna swing open. She's gonna calm down. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ice fix still there. No. Close that door. Close it. I don't want anything bad to come in. Oh fuck. Damn it, it won't let me in. Okay. Uh, I kidnapped her. Empty pills. Can I, like, sh fucking unplug this TV? Come on. Let me unplug the TV. Okay. okay I just, just, let's just get out of here. Let's finish this. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It makes me a happy carrot. I get it. Okay. Craziness. Oh, scratched out this creepy man. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit's gotten worse. So it's a plant. Donor party. What's well, with the plants growing everywhere? See him die, say bye bye, see her try, see her lie, ask her why, see her cry. See him die, see? Husband died. Or not even husband, that was the whole problem. Forget Dan, da Don, Dad, Cat, not him. Oh fuck, oh fuck, right to the eye dead animal. Oh, fucking A. God damn it. It's raining in the house. Why is it raining in the house? Uh, this is super spooky. Let's just watch some TV. Oh, calm down. Come on. Let's just watch TV. No, I can't sit and watch TV all day. Gotta go. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. Something's gonna. Oh, uh, you will watch me rot. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh man. A spooky man. Oh my god. There's no way you can get any better. What? <sighs> Finally, the stories somewhere else. are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Oh, she's the witch. Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. The boy's boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasp and shrieks. I think this is delightful. 
The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay by my side. Uh. Oh man, this is a lot like Amnesia the Dark Descent, or Amnesia the Machine of Pigs. More apt. More like. Eyes without sparkle. Oh fuck. It's a book about not wanting your kid. Turn this shit off. Is this a fire oven? Someone's gotta push me into an oven then, right? She's the witch. She's got to get pushed into an oven. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, fuck. The secret room! It's a secret room! Oh, fuck. It's an oven. Oh. Cal. Cal! I don't... The cutscenes kind of ruin it. Oh no, Calum. it's Callum. He's on a table. Has he been Calum. tickled? Calum. Oh shit. She's gonna get five nights at Freddy'd. Freddy's to... It's Callum. Oh, he's got a Cthulhu t-shirt. Oh, that's a pretty cool Cthulhu t-shirt. I have to say. I, I don't know about the cutscenes. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Kill yourself instead. Oh fuck. She just killed her son. That just happened. That just happened. And there were no monsters. It was just her. Fuck. Fuck. Is that it? Something else is gonna happen. Oh no, something else is gonna happen. Hey. You were found Lorraine. in the park Lorraine. with your murdered kid. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Oh shit. She killed him. Wait, is that the Take guy? Take a the deep front? breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Oh, she knows the last place she saw her son. It was in the park. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. She murdered him. Man. That was spooky. That was good, though. Andrew Cascino as the boogeyman. Doctor slash guard. Lauren Payne as park announcer. That was good. I wouldn't have, like... I don't know. I wouldn't have wanted it any longer. It was a good story, but... So final thoughts, I think she killed her son. Yeah, it's like prepartum depression, right? Postpartum depression is where you're depressed right after having a kid. She got depressed before she had a kid. Prepartum depression, does that make sense? Yeah, that was fun. Well, thanks for uh, joining me playing this game. Um, yeah, I'm going to do more Let's Play kind of stuff in the future. Um, but yeah. Okay, the end music is a little too optimistic for what she did. I think she killed her kid. Because she was the witch. Um... So, end music's a little too optimistic, but otherwise it was fun. 
plus click to return to the menu. Let's do it. That was a good game. Good job, the park. Thumbs up. Go play it yourself. Anyways, see you later, everyone. <laughs>